Hey guys, it's me Anaf and welcome to part 4 of the Flask Block Tutorial Series. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to set up your functional contact form so you can uh, just go and send emails to the person who is using the blog to contact them. So in the last video, I've shown you guys how to uh, secure your admin page. So since I've logged out right now, if I go to admin, it's going to be giving me a forbidden error since I haven't logged in. So if I now go to login, we have this nice little contact uh, login form. And now if we type in the credentials, the username and password, we go to the admin page. Now if you go to post, now we can actually configure everything to whatever we want and just use the admin page and if you want to log out we have to just go to the logout route and it will redirect back to you, back here so before i start this video uh i want to ask you guys to please subscribe to my channel and like this video and also comment down below if you guys have any requests or if you guys need any help and also share this with your friends and family so they can also make their own flask block so what I want to do right now is make this contact me for functional. So right now, if we do uh, like just put in anything and then what will happen is that it won't do anything. So that's why we need to make it functional. And at first I need to make the contact form, uh, the HTML, I need to modify that a little bit since a lot of things are not required. Ah, yeah, so this is required and the type should be email and stuff so please enter your name age so what are the things over here Re data required validation required message okay so what we need to do is that we need to make the form type post so okay so what you need to do is method equals to post if you do that if we refresh, I think the server just reloaded, okay? And if we do something like this, it's gonna be doing using validation. So let me just do an if you send, it's gonna be saying method not allowed since it's it was sending a post request. So I need to configure this route for post requests and get requests. So we need to go to the app app.route and do methods make a list get post so we need to use this and right now it's a bit glitched out since to post okay so for some reason visual studio code is glitching out since i have this over here and it's not working and invalid syntax oh i forgot sorry about that uh it's working right now why is it not working okay let's do it again get post now let's do this i forgot i was supposed to do that not this so let's run the uh, app and now if we go back and send it it's sending it it's sending everything but it's not doing anything so what we need to do is we need to make a post uh, method handler so what we want to do is if request request dot method is equals to post I'm just gonna be returning uh, return okay send message but right now I'm not gonna send and send anything it's just for demonstration purposes so it's this uh, yeah it's being sent message so now what I want to do is integrate a mail SMTP or just use a model that will help us to send email. And for that, Flask has a really good module called Flask Mail. And at first, let's install it. Pip3 install Flask Mail. I think I already have it installed. Or do I? I don't know. So uh, let's wait for it to get installed. And while it's installing, let's start working on it. So we need to do from flask mail import mail and message sorry message 
and now we need to initialize the and uh, now we need to connect the mail class with the app so the mail is going to be mail and app so we connected it and now we need to configure a few things so yeah it installed properly and now what we need to configure is basically the SMTP relay server that we'll be using and for this tutorial I'm going to be using Outlook so let me go to Outlook SMTP so I have a link where you can go and check the Microsoft Outlook SMTP settings so what I'm going to be using right now is the SMTP server will be SMTP uh, colon mail sorry not colon hyphen mail dot outlook dot com so we need to use some configurations so app dot config and this is going to be our mail server so this this will this will be uh, the outlook smtp server so mail dot config and now we need the port so the port will be sorry mail port and the port will be since I'm not using TLS, I need to use the port 25. Or I can, no, we're going to be using 587. So 587. And now the app.config, let's do the username. So the username password. So I need to specify if I will use a TLS or not. Mail use TLS. This will be true since I want to use TLS and app.config mail use SSL default since I don't want to use SSL so right now I need to get the username and password of my Outlook account that's what I'll be using so for that I'm gonna be making a new file called config.py and in here I'm gonna be using uh, mail username is going to be this is going to be my Outlook email and the mail password will be my outlook password so i'm not going to be showing that so i'm going to be right back after i've written the email and password okay so i finished writing the email and password so i need to do from config import uh mail username and mail password so i'll use that now let me check the flask flask mail outlook i forgot uh the the what the configuration name for that so let me check yeah so mail username and mail username is going to be app.config mail username will be mail username how about that and app.config mail password password is equal to mail password so how about that and now if we want to send an email what we need to do over here is just get the the form data so to get the form data what I'm gonna be doing is checking the HTML file and the name of the form so this is going to be the name and why is it on the ID so I need the name to be name name is equal to name and here the name will be email and here the name will be phone and here the name will be message okay so now we need to send and what I'm gonna be doing over here is just taking all the names and now getting them so we need to get name equals to request dot forms dot get name okay now email will be request dot form dot email and phone will be request dot forms request dot form it will be request dot form dot get dot get phone and the message will be request dot form dot get message how about that so now what we need to do is create a message object so msg is going to be message the message that we have imported from uh, flask mail the message class and now, now what we need to do is make a new message and the subject will be the 
Uh, let's make it an F string. So, mail from uh, name. How about that? So, do this. And then the body will be. The body will be uh, the message. And the. Let's make an F string. Do this. And let's format it. So the email is going to be email. Now let's skip a line. So phone will be phone. And now let's skip two lines. Now let's do three. And then the name will be name. And yeah, this is it. So then what we need to do is that we need to send the message. So mail.send message, this one. Now we need to return render template. And now we need to do contact.html, but uh, contact.html and then do success equals to true. How about that? Now what we can do, oh, for, uh, sorry, I forgot something. So the sender will be, we need to make a sender, will be my mail a user, username and the recipients will be, let me use my proton mail. So uh, since it's my public email, I don't have a problem exposing it in a video. So. Uh, this is my mail, I'm jamal.portmail.com, so we're going to be checking it on that. And then, let's send it, and do python3app.py. Okay, so it's restarting. Good. Now, if we go to the contact form, and let's do this, and my email address. Uh, this phone number will be 1234567 and the message will be this is a test message now let's try send and i hope we don't get any errors because setting up an sn uh using a mail service is quite annoying so i think it works since it didn't show anything let me go to my proton mail and check for an outgoing email okay so uh mail from me and then yeah so this is it this is my mail so Name is equal to this, email is equal to another email address, protonmail.com, phone is equal to this, and this is a test message. So this is how you can use the contact page. Now we need to use Jinja2 to show a success message whenever the uh, mail has worked or the mail has been sent. So what I can do right now is search for bootstrap alerts since I forgot how to bootstrap alerts bootstrap for alert because i forgot how alerts work in bootstrap now let's go to alert and yeah so it's to the success uh, yeah this is success now let's copy it and since uh let me check the website where i have to put it over here let's put it on top of the one to get in touch thingy so now Let's refresh the page. No, I don't want to send it again. I want to. Okay, so the success alert is working. And now we can do uh, your message has been sent successfully. And now we can use Jinja2 over here. So, and now I can do if success. Now let's do end if now refresh. So it's not showing me anything. Now let's do something. So this is my name. Now my email address will be blah 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 blah, blah dot blah. And my phone number will be nine eight seven six five four three two one. Okay, and now the message is going to be Yo, what's up? How's it going? Now let's try to send it. And since I'm using Outlook's uh, 
mail relay server it may take some time so but all but still it says that your message has been sent successfully now if I go to Proton mail and now uh, refresh it's gonna be showing mail from this is my name so yeah this is my name email equal to blah 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 at blah 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 and phone is going this is and this is the message so I hope you guys can now make your own contact me page and you can send your own email so this is it guys uh, this is the flash blog series I have finished showing you guys how to make a complete flask blog and if you have enjoyed this series and now you can make your own blogs using flask then be sure to subscribe to my channel and like this video also uh, share this video and the playlist with your friends or fellow developers and i'm gonna be seeing you guys next time so peace out